Hello YouTube, this is the next step of uh, how to ride a motorcycle for beginners. We've already gone through proper gear and how you should be dressed to stay safe. We've gone through the different functions and features of the motorcycle and what the different controls mean. Uh, and we've gone through the basics and the theory behind shifting. Now we just need to do it. So this time we're going to get on the bike and we're just going to get it slowly moving. And then we'll move on to the next step from there. Okay, so first what you want to do, stay off the streets for now. Biggest advice that I can give, biggest advice that I had gotten uh, when I was being taught by my good friend uh, Jolly Roger 88 is that you need to stay calm. <laughs> you, ne you, you need to, to just be patient. Uh, you know, don't get, uh, don't get ahead of yourself because that's when you start to make mistakes. Um, and sometimes the mistakes aren't as, as forgiving as other hobbies that you might have picked up. Okay, so learn slowly, uh, because slowly is a lot quicker than you think. Uh, you'll get the hang of it. You just need to be patient, take the necessary steps, and don't get overzealous. Okay, so we're going to get on the bike. Uh, we're in a parking lot right now. There's no cars around us um, for safety purposes. So the first thing we need to do, we need to start the engine, okay? Kickstand's still down. We, we're going to turn the key. You're going to see that the green light for neutral is on, so the bike's on. The bike's in neutral right now, so I don't have to hold the clutch to start it. Some people like to do that anyway, just is that a peace of mind. That's okay. You look at the kill switch. It's in the, the running position, so we're good to go. I can hit the start button, and the bike will start up. Now, one thing I didn't mention in voice um, on my previous video that spoke to the controls of the motorcycle is a choke. A lot of bikes, most bikes at this point, probably have a, uh, a choke on it, um, which is used for the starting sequence, basically from cold starts. So you'll activate the choke. It's usually a sliding lever, whether it be here or down at the engine, uh, to start the bike. And then you'll uh, you'll shut it off once the bike is is warmed up, and you'll hear the idles go down. Uh, this particular model, this motorcycle is uh, fuel injected, so all that's taken care of for me electronically. Okay, so we don't have to control that. We're started. We're running. We're good to go. So I'm going to tilt the bike up, supporting it with my legs, kick the kickstand up, and now I'm I'm supporting it. I'm on a slight slope right now, so I'm holding the front brake uh, with my right hand so that we don't go anywhere and I can continue to talk uh, and not roll backwards because that would be awkward. So, we're in neutral. Like I said, uh, in neutral, I'm going to put the back brake on so I can have this, uh, this hand free. Uh, while we're in neutral, nothing's going to happen. Uh, I can go as hard on the throttle as I want. Uh, might not be good for the bike, but I'm not going to go anywhere. Okay. Now, we want to shift to first gear so that we can get moving. How do we do that? The first step, you want to hold in the clutch, which is this left lever. Hold it in all the way. Okay, so put it down all the way. Again, I've got my right foot on the brake right now. Um, now I have to take my left foot off the ground to hit the, the, uh, the shifter. So I'm going to hold on to the front brake for now so I can put my other foot on the ground. Now with the shifter, I don't know how well you can see that from my helmet cam, but like I said, first gear is located below neutral. So I'm going to push down on it. Okay, so now I'm in first gear. You saw the neutral light shut off. Now I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to let off the brake and see what happens. Okay, I'm rolling backwards still, so I'm going to put my back brake on. Um, now what you want to do first, the first step you want to do is slowly let off the clutch. And you want to find the biting point of the clutch to see where it actually engages. And just play with it for a little while and learn it. You can hear the sound of the bike change. You know, you hear it start to slow down a little bit. You hear the idle start to slow down a little bit. That's because there's load being applied to the engine. Think of it from this perspective. I can take my arm and I can do this as fast as I want and I can do it all day. Okay? You put a 50-pound dumbbell on my arm, I'm going to slow down. There's a little bit of load uh, put on the bicep now. Well, most people would slow down. I wouldn't. I'm a genetic freak, though. Um, the bike isn't, though. So it'll start to slow down and you'll hear the change in RPMs, okay? You can even see the RPM gauge go. If you let off too fast, it stalls. Not a big deal if it stalls. Hold the clutch back in, start the engine again. We're still in first gear, okay? So, clutch is still in. 
Again, play with it a little bit. And as you slowly, slowly, slowly release and you find that biting point, you're going to notice the bike without touching the throttle, it's going to slowly start to move on you. Okay, so that's the biting point. Push back in, the bike stops. Okay, now I'm moving backwards again. I'm on a slight slope, but okay, you release it again. Bike starts to go. Let it go. Release it again. Bike starts to go. Let it go. Don't worry about what your neighbors are thinking. Don't worry about anything like that. This is a very important step. Okay? So play with it for a little while. Learn the bike. Learn the biting points. Um, there's a lot of experienced riders who have test uh, ridden this bike. I saw their videos on YouTube and they have a hard time and they're stalling it. They've been riding for years. It's because they didn't get to learn this clutch before they got on. They've ridden a thousand different bikes, not literally. They've ridden, we'll say, ten different bikes. Um, big difference there, I know. And they, they were able to do that. No clutch is the same. Okay, you can't, you can't expect one clutch to be the exact same as the next. They're all different. Get to know yours. Okay, so we're slowly going to do that again. Slowly move around. And get to the point where, again, if you do it slow enough, I'm not touching anything right now. This is no throttle. This is no clutch. The bike's just moving for me. Okay, so you want to do that first. And again, when I first learned um, with Jolly Roger, he actually came down. We learned in a, in a parking lot, and we did this for quite some time because right now I'm riding around very, very slowly, and that's obviously a lot harder to do uh, than it is fast. But we're going to get to that in the next video. Right now we're just working on clutch control and uh, shifting into first to get the bike moving. So again, we're going to run through it one more time so that you know what you're doing. So I just pulled the, the, the gear indicator half a click up. You see the neutral light on. I just let go of the clutch. Nothing happened. Let go of the brake. Rolling backwards because I'm not in first gear. I can rev it as much as I want. One thing I should point out now that I'm in first, because I'm holding the clutch, consider if you're in gear and you're holding the clutch, it's basically the same idea as neutral, where the throttle's not going to do much. Okay? So, anyway, we're back in neutral. Kickstand's back down. Bike's off. Kill switch is off. We're going to start over. One more time. Real quick rundown. Kill switch on. Key on. Let it do its thing. Start the engine. Now, again, don't be worried about... Um, forgetting the kickstand obviously try to remember the bike will remember for you um, it won't let you go away without it so kick the kickstand up to get to first gear clutch in all the way gear shifter doesn't go up it goes down into first gear which is, again that's the uh, that's the trick question we'll say and then slowly slowly release the clutch until you feel the bike start to move play with it a little bit Get to know it. Do it for hours on end if you have to. Get to know the bike, okay? You'll feel yourself start to move. And do it to the point where you can, uh, you know, if you feel if you feel like the bike's going to stall, push the clutch back in. Don't touch the throttle just yet. Just push, push the clutch back in. The bike will stay alive. Uh, again, if you do stall, it's not the end of the world. So right now, again, no throttle, no clutch. The bike's moving on its own. It's magic. If I hold the clutch back in, it disengages the engine, um, and basically there's no power happening right now. Again, I'm on a decline right now, so the bike's going to continue to move. But if you do hold the clutch back in, the bike will slow down uh, and come to a stop. Okay, so that's the basics on getting moving. Uh, that was first gear. And yeah, next video, we're going to get moving just a little bit quicker, and we'll go through the rest from there. All right, folks. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next round, series, whatever you want to call it.